Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 19. First, the input table. A student info table over here has four columns namely, student name, English, maths, and science. So we have the David, John, and Tom as the student and their corresponding marks in English, Maths and Science subject. Now the problem statement. Write a SQL query to turn the columns English, Maths and Science into rows. It should display marks for each student for each subject as shown below. So this is our output table. Let's see our input table first. Over here if you see the column English maths and science our requirement is to turn this column english maths and science into rows english maths and science for each student and it should also display their corresponding marks so if you see uh, the output table actually it is the intersection of student name and the and the subject and it produces the marks so david with subject english is the it marks is 85 David with subject maths marks is 90 David with subject science it is marks is 88 so this is how it will go on so let's see how we can solve this problem in SQL server so we can solve this problem by using unpivot operator so first let's try to understand what is unpivot operator. Unpivot operator is used to turn columns into rows. It is exactly opposite of pivot operator where it turns the rows to columns. So our requirement is here to turn columns into rows. If you see over here in the uh, our input table student info table we have the column English maths and science these are the columns so we want these columns to be turned as rows so we will use unpivot operator let's see how we can write SQL queries using unpivot operator so first part in the first step I am going to write the subquery where I am going to select each column of the student info table so here you can see select a student name English, Maths, Science from student info. So this is our subquery. So if I run this, it will give the same result as what we uh, when we run the student info table. Now in the second step, I am going to select only those columns which are needed in the output table. So what are the columns needed? We need student name, subjects, marks from this subquery. But you will be wondering how come I am selecting subjects and marks column from this subquery as this, this column subjects and marks are not available over here. How, how come I am selecting? Yes, you are right. I will tell you from where this subject and marks are coming. This subject column and marks are coming from the unpivot operator. You can see I have written marks for subjects in and then I am passing those columns which needs to be converted into rows. So English, Maths and Science are the columns that needs to be converted into rows. So this unpivot operator produces marks column and subjects column. That's why I am referring subjects and marks columns in this select clause. So if I run this full piece of code, here you go. You got the columns converted into rows. You can see subjects English, Maths and Science are coming into rows for each student and along with it marks are also displayed. So this is how we can convert columns into rows by using unpivot operator. There are one more method by which we can turn columns into rows and this one is very simple this is by using union all 
so what I'm going to do I'm going to select a student name column and then I'm going to hard code English and then I'm going to select English column from the student info table if I run the first select query let's see what result I get so I got the all the student name and their marks whose subject is English you will be wondering why I have given as subjects alias and then as marks yes this alias I have given because I want this header should come over here so I want this uh, English should be uh, the subject should come over here for marks it should come as marks now let's see what is there in the second select statement and in the select uh, in the second se select statement I am selecting student name and then I'm hard coding maths and then selecting maths column from the student info table so if I run I'll get all the students name with their marks as ma uh, with their marks whose subject is maths similarly if I run the last select query wherein I am selecting a student name and then hard coding science and then I am selecting science column from the student info table I'll get all the student name along with their marks whose subject is science so if I combine all the all the three select uh, query we got the similar result so in the last we are going to do order by student name here you go you got the same result what the previous unpivot operator was able to give so this is the second way we can convert the columns into rows so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do subscribe my channel and do hit like button thank you and thanks for watching